Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to First Things First. I'm Jen Wolf. That is Nick Wright. Greg Jennings is with us this morning. Good, good morning, Greg. Morning, nice good to morning. See you. you are here on a very monumental day. I good am. to see you, my friend. How are you? <laughs> I'm excellent. We uh, we got a lot to get to. We now know why they call it Wild Card Weekend in the NFL. We got a little of everything this weekend. We got upsets. We got overtimes and perhaps the end of an era. And that is where we will start this morning. The defending champion, New England Patriots, hosting the Titans on Saturday. Quick recap for you. Fourth quarter, Pats down one. Under three and a half to play. Brady tries to connect with Julian Edelman. But the... what? That, that's not an Edelman thing to do, dropping the ball like that. New England with later punt, still gets one last-ditch effort, 15 seconds left from their own one. And Tom Brady with a pick six. That ends the game and perhaps ends Tom Brady's career as a Patriot. We shall see. Titans win. They move on. Patriots are done for the season. After getting the game, all the attention, as you would imagine, focused on the future of Tom Brady. Just very grateful for... You know, the experience of playing this year for this team, this organization, and, um, and over the course of my career, too. So uh, I appreciate it. I hope I, I've always, um, you know, tried to do the right thing out there. And, um, you know, who knows what the future holds. So we'll leave it at that. Do you have a, a sense of whether you'll be back with the Patriots in 2020, and, and do you want to be back with the Patriots in 2020? I love the Patriots. I mean, they they, they obviously, uh, you know, they got a, it's the greatest organization and, you know, playing for Mr. Kraft all these years and uh, for Coach Belichick. I mean, there's, um, you know, there's nobody who's had a better career, I would say, than me, you know, just being with them. So I'm very blessed, and I don't know what the future looks like, so and I'm not going to predict it, so... I wish we'd have won tonight, and uh, wish we'd done a lot of things better over the course of the season, but we just didn't, just didn't get the job done. Is there any possibility that you would retire after the, this last season? Uh, I, you know, I, I would say it's pretty unlikely, but yeah, ho hopefully unlikely. Well, Nick, this is what everyone's talking about right now. It is the future of Tom Brady. Do you think Tom's played his last game with the New England Patriots, the only team he's played for in the NFL? I do think that Saturday was his last game with the Patriots. And if it was, it obviously was the end of the most successful, improbable, and impressive run any player with any individual team in any sport you could argue has ever had. What He, he put together two separate Hall of Fame careers, the first 10 years and the second 10 years. It'll never be matched. In 18 years as starter, 17 division titles, 13 buys, 13 AFC Championship game appearances, uh, nine Super Bowl appearances, six wins, four Super Bowl MVPs, three league MVPs. No one will ever do what he did with that team. But he's not done playing football. And the New England Patriots, aside from the owner of the team, have not shown any inclination that they want him to continue playing football for them. They had plenty of opportunities to make Tom Brady the long-term commitment that he wanted to this offseason. They wouldn't. The only thing they gave him, and Robert Kraft talked about it with Peter King before the game, about how it was important to Tom Brady that he get flexibility, freedom after the season, that that was something Tom wanted because he does not want to trust his future to a person in Bill Belichick who clearly does not any longer believe in him as a top flight high level superstar NFL quarterback and so Jay Glazer reported this weekend Greg that he's not going to take any hometown discount and why would he he's taken hometown discounts year after year and I'm sure he feels with that money you've squandered it with that money you have not put great pieces around me so I believe Tom Brady is going to keep playing football. I do not believe it will be with the New England Patriots. And if I had to pick a team, same team I picked two months ago when I said this day was coming. The Los Angeles Chargers have weapons. They have an opening at quarterback. He owns a home there. It's in a great city. And they need to sell tickets there. Reportedly, they have zero PSLs sold for their new stadium. So I believe Tom Brady's a Los Angeles Charger next year. And I believe Saturday, his crew of the Patriots came to a somewhat sad conclusion I honestly I don't disagree with anything you just said I think those were all great points obviously his accomplishments 
supersedes what anyone will possibly ever do in this sport at that position. Again, having said that, I do believe he will be back in a Patriots uniform next year. I don't think this was the last time we will see him in that uniform. And there's a lot of reasons I feel that way. The number one reason is when you've looked at, when we've seen over the course of NFL history, <clears throat> quarterbacks that have made statements like this, that, that have had um, unbelievable careers, they've always had a successor plan. Joe Montana, mm -hmm. Steve Young, Peyton Manning, Andrew Luck, Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers. Yep. Like, there all has always been the a plan apparent. right in place. And they in had house. one for a while in New England. They had one for a while, Jenna, and they and let him funny. go. So when you look at their current roster and configuration, they don't have that. And when you look at where they're, they always have to pick in the draft, they, they're not guaranteed to get that. So with that being said, Tom Brady is their only option at quarterback. Now, I, when I say option, viable option as far as them having success and being able to sustain that success that Bill Belichick obviously wants to sustain, but I, I just don't see him going off outside of the relationship with Belichick somewhere else because he means so much to the organization and there is no plan in place to take the torch and it, run with it. I, and I understand that, and it is a huge difference between having Steve Young, Andrew Luck, or Aaron Rodgers waiting in the wings and Jared Stidham waiting in the wings. But they knew who they had waiting in the wings when they refused to give him a contract extension this offseason. They knew what the quarterback marketplace was looking like. They knew who was on their roster. They didn't have Jimmy Garoppolo six months ago. They traded him a few years ago. And the difference between the Manning, Favre, and Montana exit is, yes, they had great players waiting for them those players were also still great Montana went to the Chiefs made an AFC championship game Favre went to the Jets and the Vikings made an NFC championship game Peyton Manning went to the Broncos went to two Super Bowls why does that matter those guys would only have been forced out if you will because they had a great player behind them because they were still high-level players Tom Brady, and I'm not trying to dance on the man's football grave. He's Absolutely the greatest not. player I've ever seen. Tom Brady is not a good quarterback anymore. We saw it again this weekend. They, the reason they are not playing any longer is because in consecutive weeks, they lost to the fighting Ryans, Fitzpatrick and Tannehill, at home. They win two weeks ago. They have a bye. They win this week. They're on their way to Kansas City with a chance to do what they did last year. But once again, that offense grind to a halt after some early success. Once those 15 scripted plays are over, what did they do? Tom Brady was 7 of 21 for, what, 62 yards to receivers in this football game. He, I, I know the pick six at the end was unlucky. Fine. He almost had a pick six at the end of the first half that could have essentially ended the game then. Mm -hmm. The second play of the game was this close to being a turnover where the ball barely was going forward when he got hit uh, on the second pass of the game. Brady has been very bad this year. So if you're Bill Belichick, who ultimately makes the football decisions for the Patriots, he was made to trade Jimmy Garoppolo, and I'm sure he still feels some type of way about that. It's not necessarily, do we have a great quarterback behind Tom? It might be, we don't have a great quarterback with or without Tom, but one of them is going to be about $25 million cheaper than the other, so I'd rather go with the cheaper option. But Greg, what we're learning is in part of the interview that uh, Peter King had with Tom Brady afterwards is that what he inferred was that maybe that Tom, Tom Brady doesn't think it was all on him, that it was the people that surrounded him, that that hometown discount that he took should have gone towards building a stronger team around him. And Peter King's inference was if he were to come back, it's not going to be I need people around me, I demand other people around me. And that could be, I mean, I don't know if you blame the last two weeks just on Tom Brady or the lack of who Tom Brady had around No, him. you cannot blame the last two weeks weeks on just Tom Brady Th this season on solely Tom Brady now he's going to bear uh, the brunt of the load because sure. that's that's his position he's the quarterback and he's always been the focus but when you look at their personnel and the way they've been configured on offense Nick they don't they just don't have the support and when you all of what you said is correct but when you have
have a quarterback who is in decline, you got to have guys around him that can help elevate that, that can help it literally take some pressure off of him. So making those catches that you ordinarily wouldn't see guys make, Nikhil Harry, Muhammad Sanu, these guys, you have to step up and make plays for a guy like Tom Brady or any quarterback who is falling off or is not subpar or well, elite. And if you, need, if you need guys around him to elevate him, which clearly at this point in his career you do, if you're a New England Patriots and you're Bill Belichick, is that worth 25 plus million dollars? Because Brady clearly, in that soundbite, we heard it, he wants to be back. Robert Kraft, in his interview with Peter King that you were referencing, Jenna, Robert Kraft wants him back. But Bill Belichick, I haven't